Okay, we're going to go over the materials. We're going to start with some uh, all thread. This is a 3 8 inch rod, which is about 8 millimeters. And you'll need some uh, just flat washers that uh, obviously fit the uh, rod and uh, some nuts. And you'll also need some wing nuts for the top. And then you'll need uh, two pieces. Uh, this is three quarter inch plywood, about uh, I'd say they're about two foot square. And then I'm going to just uh, even these up and clamp them together so we can drill some holes through both. Now you're going to start with a hole in each corner, uh, about an inch or two and a half centimeters um, off the uh, edge. And you want to put one of these in each corner uh, and make sure that your all thread can go through there. Again, one in each corner on both the top and the bottom board. Okay, now I'm going to take a washer and a nut and leave about uh, two inches or five centimeters on the end so that it can go through. Uh, this will actually be the bottom. And then take another washer and a nut and secure the rod onto the uh, board and you really don't want a whole lot um, exposed there on this uh, back side and then do this in all four uh, corners and then on the top we'll do the same thing except we'll use a wing nut and this way we can adjust uh, the height of the top all four corners again and then just uh, take some wrenches and tighten everything up and uh, you can vary the height on the go uh, bar system to whatever you like and now turning to the bottom here I'm going to take just some one by uh, just plain stock and cut a couple of boards like you see here just to uh, give the bottom a little more support and keep it off of those uh, nuts and threaded rods. And now here you see the completed system. You're going to need um, several pieces of uh, just a dowel rod. And now I'm putting some scrap boards here just to show you how this works. You know, this is about a 3 8 dowel rod. Uh, you can use whatever size you're comfortable with. You kind of want it as large as you can, uh, but still remaining flexible. And you see, you just kind of bend them and force them in to put some pressure on those bottom pieces. You can see here how they're holding that, that uh, small piece in place against this flat one. And how they hit at the top and do wear safety goggles and you'll see this uh, this will come in handy in a lot of uh, guitar building applications